All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is October 14th, Wednesday. Getting ready to take down some Zinfandel and Petite Syrah tonight. All right, I don't look too excited. But hey, we've got one of my favorite Tuscan producers here on this offering for you, our wine drinking people today. You hear me start to get more excited? Because I love wines from Tuscany. I love the Sangiovese varietal, and I love this producer that, uh, well, this estate goes back over a thousand years. Holy cow, and I love to say it. Tenuta Sangisto Arentirano. And that's right, of course, it was uh, Cistercian monks that started out this property and you know, that's a lot of the great wineries started out in Europe. You know, you needed wine for sacrificial purposes. And uh, the monasteries, the monks, the nuns were the people that took care of that for you. But uh, this was also fortified because of its close boundary to Siena. It's located in Gaiolin Chianti. And the estate today is owned by the Martini di Cigala family. It's family run. It's 160 hectares. Uh, which is a rather large estate, uh, 270 meters above sea level, and uh, just 31 of those are planted to vineyards. The rest are, of course, olive groves. You've got olive oil. You don't have any other olive oil, but um, it's fabulous. We've had it in the past. And then grazing lands, of course. They've probably got some livestock out there. And uh, terrain is composed of various different soil types. One of the reasons why they can grow other grapes here, in addition to Sangiovese, like Merlot, the La Ricoma, one of the cult Merlots coming from Tuscany today. Well, we've got four different vintages on the table, actually three, I'm sorry, 2010, 2011, and 12, all of which look to be outstanding from Tuscany. The regular Chianti Classico is anything but regular, the 2012. Uh, this wine, very forward and very approachable, and uh, it's got that textbook red berry fruit, uh, that lovely fresh earthy character you get from wines from Tuscany, and uh, a wonderful herbaceousness and spice, uh, something we love about Chianti. The freshness also, this wine goes great with a lot of different types of food. The Reserva Chianti Classico, a Lambrancol. Uh, this is a uh, serious Sangiovese. This is one you can age. There's 3% Caniolo in the blend. Of course, that's one of the traditional grapes you see blended in with Chianti. Today, you're allowed to use Merlot and Cabernet, but they don't here. They're very traditional with the Chianti. They do have uh, a Super Tuscan, which is Absolutely incredible, the Per Carlo, which has gotten 95 plus scores and various vintages of this 2010, looks to be outstanding in Tuscany. It's getting rave reviews from the critics. And uh, 2011 also getting some grave reviews in this La Ricoma, which is 100% Merlot. A lot of people don't associate with Merlot with Tuscany, but this wine is one of the cult wines of Tuscany. We only get one case of this wine a year. I think we only got one case of Per Carlo. So these wines, incredibly rare. Some of the top wines coming from Tuscany from a great estate uh, that they've just brought in uh, Antonio Pagliolli, which uh, he used to, uh, Attilo, sorry, uh, Pagli, which uh, he is also working with Val de Cava, one of our um, most famous uh, Brunello producers and a new agronomist, uh, Ruggiero Mazzilli. And uh, these guys are kicking it up a notch here. These wines better than ever. So check them out. Some outstanding vintages from one of our top producers here in Tuscany. Tenuta San Gisto Arentinano. Say it again. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.